Well, I just got done watching a video by Raw Dog, which he put out today on June 22nd, uh, Friday, 2012. And it was basically some criticism of Brother John F., which, uh, yeah, I agree with. <laughs> I don't agree with Brother John F., but I agree with the criticism. But, um, you know, the one thing I always have a problem with is um, not silver or physical silver. Actually, I'm in a physical silver camp. And, yeah, I want it to go up. But, you know... I like the idea of physical assets, but damn, I know one thing, I would never promote bitcoins. <laughs> it's a bunch of snake oil. I don't, you know, I heard the pros and cons to it, but a little common sense shows that a lot of people must have got ripped off and a lot of, some people made a hell of a lot of money on it because it went into an explosive bubble at one point and crashed. I don't like that stuff at all. And, uh... I'm basically in the physical silver camp, but, you know, this is basically my thinking for many years. And not only physical silver, but, you know, before you even get physical silver, think of the three F's. Food, fuel, and firepower. That's really where you hell you got to have your money invested first. First, before physical silver. Physical silver is just extra. That's the way I look at it. Reality is... You know, if you if people are buying physical silver because they think there's going to be a collapse of the banking system. And yeah, today, <laughs> or yesterday, you know, ratings agency Moody's downgraded 15 of the world's biggest banks. You know, that's what caused a lot of them turmoil, right? You know, that's what was bringing everything down to commodities. And reality states that QE's coming around the corner. Don't let them kid you. I mean, every time the guy breathes one way, the QE's coming out, you know, the markets go up. But you know what? When QE comes out for real, you know how fast the metals are going to move up? They're going to move up fast. But I got to warn you about the snake oil salespeople. Not her. Not her. I don't know who this is, but I'm talking about the silver pumper and dumpers. Boy, they're going to be talking $100 again, and I think it's going to go past the hundreds, but... Before it gets up to 100, I think it's going to have another major reset. And I'm telling you, I'm kind of, well, let me use it to tell you this way. You know, I read stuff, I look at the numbers, and, you know, I can argue any stupid number you want. You want a number? I'll give it to you. You want me to convince somebody of something? I can convince them. There's enough ways you convince people of shit any way you want. But just using my instinct, I think silver is going to go probably to 70 or maybe 70 something. And then it's going to crash below 50. But when it starts getting up over 50, all these snake oil salespeople are going to tell you it's going to go to 100. <laughs> That's my, I don't know this for a fact though. I can't say I know that. But I, I could smell that's the way it's coming up. But let me put it to this way. Um, you know, I agree with this <laughs> broad dog in some ways. I don't agree with him 100% on everything. But, you know, I was getting totally sick of the freaking snake oil that's being sold to people. And it's not really the fact that they're being told to buy physical silver. Because, well, let me put it this way. I knew about this junk for, like, decades. You know, when all the economy was looking good and everybody's invested in the NASDAQ <laughs> bubble, you know, I would only think of physical assets. That's just how I think anyway, period. So I have, I lean heavily this way anyway. But I don't think just silver. Like I said, you know, before you should even consider silver, if you don't have, I call them the three F's, you know. It's almost like the beans, bullets, and band-aids, but I'm talking about food, fuel, and firepower. You should have that first. The hell with the freaking silver if you don't have those things. And firepower is important too, believe me. You know, we don't live in a freaking la -di -da world. You know, it's almost like uh, it's crime prevention. That's the way I look at it. A lot of people can associate it with crime. But basically it's crime prevention. Because people are afraid to do stuff when people or other people can have the means to defend themselves. That's kind of the way that works. Um... You know, hey, this is a very good classic chart about bubbles. And silver's not in a bubble. I'm not going to say, you know, it kind of got in a bubble because 
Obviously, it went up to almost 50, then it crashed down at like 26, right? Well, that's temporary. It's temporary. Actually, silver's undervalued. People are not buying it because they're stupid, okay? That's what I'm going to say right now. They're stupid. They are. They're dumber than dirt. The light bulb's going to come on. They're going to say to themselves, what the hell am I buying, investing in U.S. bonds for? <laughs> but let them do what the hell they want, you know? But like I said, I wouldn't get too, too lopsided on the metals. But this is a, this is a very good classic chart, you know, silver, you can use this with anything. The smart money gets in there, it takes off, the institutional investors get in there. In the case of silver, the institutional investors don't get in there. It's really the public. It might be somebody like Sprott, but, you know, he's sold way up here, you know. Um... You get the first sell-off, then the media attention. That's your silver bloggers and stuff like that. Enthusiasm, there's all the suckers getting in there. Greed, yeah, you're making a lot of money. Then you're delusional. And that's what I, I see what's going to happen. The same next deal that's going to happen. It's not going to go straight to 100. But this stuff is going to double at least. It's probably going to take off. I don't know. I, I, I have a tendency to think it's going to take off quite a bit this year. Because it only took a couple months for it to go from 26 to 37 in early 2012, right? It only took a couple months. It was December 28, 2011. It was around 26 something. And then it was 37 on February 27, 2012. Now, if Ben Bernanke said QE, it would have been 40 something easily, like inside of two weeks or less. So it could, it's could take off very quickly. So people selling right now are freaking idiots. And I'm not just trying to play a pumper and dumper, but they are stupid if they're selling right now. I don't think the bottom's in, though. You know, that's the other side of it. You know, it's, you know I was talking about this 26, and I wasn't sure. And I was talking about it going solidly below 26. Now it's back in the 26 range again, upper 26. But I was thinking I'd be wrong if it solidly went above 30 and it looked like it was taken off from there and what the policies might be. But they're going to have, they're going to wind up, this thing's going to all like go down, it's going to go down, the metals are going to go down, the markets are going to go down some more. And then they're going to act. And it's going to be the same deal all over again and it's going to take off. Where it's going to probably get up to the hundreds of dollars an ounce that's going to probably take a few years and it's going to get up that high it is so basically the silver people and the blogs are right but all the things they tell you in the short term practically all of it's wrong <laughs> that's what's screwed up about it and um i don't think all of them are so dumb because there's some of the oldest ones in the business knew how, when to sell exactly but for the most part, people aren't giving, are giving out the right advice. Now, in my case, I'm going to sell off some physical when it gets up to around 60. And I think it's going to do that this year. Um, I'm also going to interject something here, too. With uh, President Obama and Mitt Romney as the new um, you know, contender, Either one of them is bad news, and I know about the Ron Paul campaign. I was very skeptical of that, and a lot of people were mad at me for that, but I was always skeptical of it. But, you know, I kind of, like, proved my point in my head now because with Ron Paul, um, if he was a real contender to do all the things he said he, can, he would do, he would not be, like, basically quitting right now. In other words, he would have said... He would have put the finger up to the Republican Party and ran on a third-party ticket and said, screw it. He would have been fighting tooth and nail all the way. Because once he gets in office, he's got even bigger fights. Winning the election would be the smallest thing. That's why I know the guy would be taken out. But speaking of presidents being taken out, I got a feeling, I don't know if Obama's going to win or not, but I got a feeling he's not going to survive his next term. Um, and that's not, they're probably going to, I think it's going to be, you know, if I'm taking a guess here, this is my gut reactions, and a lot of times my gut reactions are pretty decent. 
I think they're going to take him out. It's going to be made to look like some, you know, some person that's small, one of these, you know, one of these people like they always get. You know, in the case of JFK, they had his assassin. They had the case of uh, Robert Kennedy, the case of uh, Martin Luther King. You know, but it's always some somebody big behind the whole thing. You know, it's something else. I think that's going to be the same thing that's going to happen with Obama. And it could be just to create turmoil in a nation. Because the game of the elite looks like to create a lot of confusion and turmoil. So, um, you know, that's one reason I don't like Alex Jones, because he does that a lot. He does that a lot. But I uh, just want people to be wire wary about, you know, getting too heavy and lopsided on silver. Although, I'm telling you right now, I know for a fact it's going way the hell up. I know it. Bitcoins, stay the hell away from that crap. Period. You know, if you believe in physical assets, you shouldn't be freaking going around with some snake oil like bitcoins and you know that's one thing that was really pissing me off about brother John F specifically was that uh, doesn't jive in with the rest of the philosophy you know and um, you know I saw that today with raw dog mentioning he's the only one that said I don't know he was not the only one but I agree with that uh, but I'm going to also state that most people today are stupid for not buying silver. What's going on right now, yeah, it got reset, it's down. It's going to go down even more. I don't think it's going to go to 20 or 21. I don't know. I don't think it is. It's going to go down a couple bucks more, though, I think. But they're going to act. And, you know, the whole world doesn't revolve around a silver price. So they're going to be looking at other factors like... Uh, you know what's going on more back downgrades and what's going to be going on in the stock markets in general but basically the banking system and the government not being able to sell its bonds is going to be the major problem so they're going to have to legit inject liquidity into the system but again silver's important silver's a very 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 smart investment it is it's not going to go straight to $100. That's point number one. But if you don't have the three Fs, food, fuel, and firepower, and I'm talking about fuel to run generators and stuff like that, and you're thinking that everything's going to collapse, you should be putting your money into that first before you should even be buying one more additional ounce of silver. At that, I want to point out, it's, n it's not stupid to have at least a year or two years worth of supply of food and hundreds of gallons of diesel fuel and enough firepower to take out whatever you need to take out because um, when it comes down to it physical assets count physical assets count that's why you buy physical silver so bitcoins it's a pile of snake oil <laughs> so I want to say I do agree with uh, Rudd Dog in his assessment of many things and um, just beware, because the next time, you're going to be going, it's going to $100, right, Big Swear? And it's going to one-to-one -one to gold. Silver's going to be worth more than gold. Yeah, whatever. These guys are crackpots, but I, what gets me is I don't understand why the hell people are listening to this shit. I mean, you know, back in the 1930s, they believed about the Martians landing, too, when H.G. Wells put his freaking show on there, right? I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, don't get tunnel vision on silver. It's like real assets. You can look at real assets and what real assets you use throughout the day. Make sure you got enough of that crap to last a long time. Because if you're really saving silver for some kind of end of the world catastrophic situation, those stupid coins aren't going to do you any good. Like I said, food, fuel, and firepower. 